Hundreds of people are taking part in a protest in Stroud this lunchtime, opposing changes to the NHS in the county. They're angry at plans which will see many jobs and services transferred from the NHS to a social enterprise company. Jules Hyam sent this report as the march began. Well, there's a pretty sizeable crowd gathered here already, as you can see, people of all kind of shapes and sizes, all different ages. We're about to march through the centre of Stroud. The reason is because Stroud Hospital, along with eight other facilities in Gloucestershire, are about to, in eight days' time, be transferred under the care of a social enterprise. <laughs> judge is to decide if campaigners in Gloucestershire can challenge the NHS over the way many of its services are run. The health service wants to outsource jobs at several community hospitals and other health roles as part of a social enterprise. But campaigners say the plans are legally flawed. Today, in a dramatic twist at the High Court in London, the NHS asked for the case to be stopped and agreed to go back to the drawing board. It's a victory for Michael Lloyd, who's 76 years old and lives in a care home. It's a shame that we you know, had to come to this, but we're really pleased that at the end NHS Gloucestershire chose to negotiate and we actually think the outcome is good. Uh, there's, an, you know, there's the possibility now that the services will remain in the NHS, which is, again, you know, what we wanted. The NHS has withdrawn controversial plans to hand over some local services to a specially created company. A retired railway worker called Michael Lloyd decided to challenge that in the High Court, arguing that the NHS had not properly explored other alternatives. He got legal aid. He was also backed by Stroud against the Cuts, who raised £7,000 to help fund the challenge. And this was their reaction today. We're really pleased. We think this, this outcome shows what the community can achieve if it works together uh, and actually makes its voice heard. That will need to continue and we, we pledge to do that and we are really grateful for everyone that supported us thus far. What does all this mean for patients? Well, quite simply, Vanessa, what it means is that if you receive a community health services in Gloucestershire, those services will continue to be provided by the NHS. NHS Gloucestershire said it didn't accept Michael Lloyd's arguments but felt it was right to stop the case. In a statement, the chief executive said NHS Gloucestershire acknowledges that this has been a difficult time for care services staff and we want an outcome which is the best for staff and patients alike. Staff are saying although they welcome the fact that they're not going to be moving out of the NHS at this point in time to a social enterprise, of course our other fears are being realised, i.e. that means that these services will be subject to open procurement. What NHS Gloucestershire are telling us is that they will now invite expressions of interest from other providers uh, with a view to um, possibly uh, uh, operating different arrangements. It's not quite clear what those will be, but for the time being, uh, this is a mighty good example of people power. Well, Constantine in Westminster, thank you. The line that I gave to the press when they asked what happened in court is that we're winning, but we haven't won yet. And that's it's, it's really important to keep stressing this. We're going to really need your help to make sure that we use the victory that we've had in court to, to go on and, and actually achieve what we want to, which is to keep our services in the NHS. There is an indication that the Department of Health is claiming that the safest legal option might be to go to a full competitive tender. Now, that conflicts with our legal advice, which says that's entirely unnecessary. Our legal advice has prevailed so far. Our legal advice has been proved to be right. So who are you going to listen to and whose case are you going to be pushing? Now we know that NHS Gloucestershire has been in contact with the Department of Health. We know that the Department of Health told them not to fight the case on the, at the end of that day when it looked like they were going to lose. The Department of Health did not want them to lose the case because what that would have done is say actually everything that's happened across the whole of the South West 
is unlawful. The court order says that they have to go back to square one. This time, their process has got to be open and transparent. They have got to properly consult with everybody, including patients and members of the community and staff. If there's one message that you take away with you tonight, it is they do not have to competitively tender for these services. I think it's very exciting. We can, we can, do, we can do an awful lot here. We shouldn't believe that anything is, is impossible. That's something we've been told by people who want to make things impossible to be changed. So I'm going to end there. Thank you all so much for coming. And thanks again to Michael Lloyd. We've had a protest today outside Neil Carmichael's office because he's claiming that uh, the people of Stroud don't care who provides uh, our health services, um, whether it's public or private. We wonder what world he's living in, really. Who's NHS? Our NHS! We don't really have any indication that the, the, the NHS bosses are going to pursue NHS options. And we've recently heard from both then and Neil Carmichael, our local MP, that they have to put the services out to a competitive tender, which we think will inevitably lead to a private provider. The reality is, is that they don't actually have to put these services out to tender. In most of the rest of the country, community health services have just been passed to an NHS trust, and that's what we think should happen here. The position we're in now is that at last, management have accepted the NHS options are on the table. For a year they've denied this is possible. And now, but now we have to pressurise management because although they've put it in words that a standalone trust can be formed and that uh, services do not have to be tendered, we know they don't have to be tendered out to the private sector, but on paper it's one thing. We have to now force management to make sure it's genuinely uh, kept as the NHS. And that's what this protest is about. I'm part of Keep Our NHS um, uh, public from Oxfordshire. Um, and I've come to support the Stroud fight. Who's NHS? NHS. Who's NHS? NHS. He says, what an amazing campaign. Please pass on my admiration and best wishes to all involved. This has been inspirational. Good luck and truly well done. In solidarity, Mark. Uh, and just lastly to say that yesterday what was also announced was they and they finally had the staff consultation that they never had before, they should have had a year ago. And they, they asked staff, they gave them five options from an NHS standalone trust, social enterprise, private companies, splitting it up into little pieces uh, and merging with foundation trust. And 91% of staff said they wanted it to stay an NHS standalone trust. Yeah. The campaign is actually in a cause of resistance to what's going on in the health service at the moment. So many times I, I, you, you could hear people being scared off, uh, arrogant managers in the health service trying to tell people there was no other option than the plans that they had. It is heartening, I am proud and I am fortunate to be associated with the fight back. Now I never get up and speak, but I feel very, very passionate about the health service. Do not look for leadership, become leaders yourself. Yeah, yeah. Stand shoulder to shoulder and fight, as Nye Bevin said. So for your health sake, join Stroud and Gloucestershire against the cuts. You're all welcome. Thank you for listening. Health campaigners in Gloucestershire are celebrating tonight after stopping part of the NHS from being privatised. Today the Primary Care Trust announced that its community services are to stay within the NHS. Traipsing up to London and to, uh, to the Strand and all that kind of thing, it was all, it, you know, the outcome has been very well worthwhile.
Last year, the PCT wanted its services run by a social enterprise trust outside of the health service. It prompted the High Court case which claimed services should have been offered to the NHS. The PCT backed down, renegotiated, and after an overwhelming staff and public consultation in favour, the board today voted that services should stay within the NHS. It's what the people of Gloucestershire wanted as well. That was overwhelmingly made clear in the public consultation. 96% voted for that. Uh, so we're very grateful to the support we've had from people who've marched, who filled in those consultations. You don't very often win in these um, battles, but uh, we won this one and it went the right way. The battle um, has been won in this case, but we've got a, a war to, to, to wage, and that is to save our services and to defend NHS jobs, conditions and salaries and pensions, and I think that, that is going to be the next stage of a big battle. Yeah.